today I'm watching more from the Sean McAuliffe program and this is a trans discussion so I've already watched racism, feminism, now we've got trans. This show even though it's older really touched on some interesting subjects, made some good satire comedy about it so interested to see what this one's like as well. I mean that is a disturbing image to begin with but let's watch this and tell me what you think about it. Chappelle Corby's frog. We wish him the best. <laughs> Eddie is a Peter Werrett, Ian Colgrave, a guy I went to school with, all like dressing up in women's clothes. But what is it about transvestites that fascinates you? Robin, no offence, but uh, you're a transvestite. Why do you do it? Well, I started cross-dressing about five years ago after my sister died, and now I'm actually quite comfortable dressing up in women's clothes. Uh, it's just a hobby, something I enjoy doing, something I pursue uh, given every opportunity. But, but not tonight. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, you're not dressed as a woman tonight, are you? Yes, this is a women's leisure suit. <laughs> well, it's a track suit. It's a leisure suit. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but what about makeup? You're not wearing any makeup tonight. I prefer the natural look. I don't think women should pander to a male version of beauty. I think women should just be themselves, and that's what I'm being. <laughs> all right, all right. But uh, what about the hair? You've done nothing with your hair, have you? A lot of women actually favour this type of cut. <laughs> It's very easy to maintain, especially in the mornings. You don't have to spend hours and hours and hours in the bathroom, which I can't do. I have an irrational fear of tap wear. <laughs> OK. What about, what about women's underwear? Are you wearing women's underwear tonight? <laughs> That's private. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Charlie McGoran, uh, you're an air traffic comptroller. You've been living with something that's been gnawing away at you for ten years. Yes, my wife. <laughs> see. And, uh, and uh, you have something that you want to tell her, is that right? Yes, Sean, something I uh, should have told her years ago. Mm. Surely she's suspected by now. <laughs> no. She has no idea. All right. And uh, what is it you want to say to your wife? Well, I want to tell her that the second longest suspension bridge in America is the Golden Gate Bridge at 1,280 <laughs> metres. You see. And, uh, and what do you think her reaction will be to that? Befuddlement. <laughs> um, Charlie, you, you've also been a practicing transvestite for some time? Man and boy, these last ten years, Sean. Right, right. And uh, are you intending to tell your wife about your transvestism tonight? If it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> and what effect do you think that information will have on your marriage? Oh, it will either be the end of us, have no effect, or, or bring us closer together. Right. Well, you've said three things there, and you can't use the word either if you give us three options, so you're going to have to drop one of them. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh, all right, I'll, um, I'll drop the bringing us closer together. All right, good choice, good choice. We'll see if that's the right one. Bring out Gladys Mildy. <laughs> She's just, just kept in that That's cupboard. That's not my wife. Yes, I know, but she's claustrophobic and has been in that cupboard for over an hour. <laughs> oh my God. But it was only fair. All Ooh. right, now, bring out his actual wife. <laughs> she's not here. Well, I thought you said you were going to tell her tonight. Yes, when I get home after the show, not on national bloody television. <laughs> yes, it's personal, isn't it? I don't need your help, you sick fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Charlie, Charlie, a bit of compassion, it is a mental illness. Now, Jojo the dog face boy. Yes, um, Would you like to come back on the show next week when you're actually scheduled to appear? I'd love to. No, thank you. <laughs> Brian, um, tell us your story. Yes, well, I'm a transsexual. I've had my penis and my testicles surgically removed and replaced with a cosmetic vagina. I've had breast implants and I'm on hormones. Mm -hmm. But I do enjoy dressing as a heterosexual man. <laughs> I see. And what sort of problems does this cause you? Well, I do tend to attract the wrong sort of person. Confused lesbians, disappointed gay men, horrified heterosexual women. What about your own sexual preferences? Oh, no, I'm celibate. In any event, I would not consider sex outside the sacrament of marriage. Mm. Thank you, Brian, for sharing that with us. Indeed, thank you to all our guests tonight. If you'd like to take part in an online discussion with any of our guests about the problems facing our much maligned and sadly misunderstood transgender community, log on to www.freakshow.com.au. <laughs> but right oh now, God. this. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> the killer blow at the end, man. That is... Again, like this show, I get is like very ahead of its time. I think, and 
it's just funny his character the way he's like this almost like bumbling guy but he still manages to keep it together uh, interesting characters on there as well so yeah tell me what you think about this one do you think like this comedy would still be made today you think people would complain about it you know that's the sort of thing you always hear people saying is like you couldn't make it today but i think like with the way Sean McAuliffe does it, he does it so intelligently. I think you could still make this today. And it would, I mean, it's still funny, man. He's still a good guy, he's a good actor, a uh, good concept with this. Uh, the way he has this specific sketch where he, like, it's like a chat show type thing and he's talking to these different people about interesting subjects, uh, like that sort of satire, as I mentioned before. Brilliant. I just love watching Sean McAuliffe, man. I've watched so many of his videos recently. They've all been good. Uh, tell me what you think about this one. Thanks.